chat him, see if he's ready. I am ready. Oh, Bartargio's in. He is, so we could always do... Like... We could always do Gabe versus Bartagio. Yeah. I don't know Doug's sluggins. Let's see. Profile. Huh. Doug's a diamond oh. two. What is Bart again? Bart's like diamond two, right? Yeah, I think right now he is about there. All right. We'll do this instead. <clears throat> cool. That's somehow even weirder than Bro 1312. It was weird, because I remember looking at my hatchery, I was trying to get my bane nest down. It's like, why have I not put a bane nest down? Why do I only have like 30 gas? Like, what's going on? And I, I just didn't see that my hatchery was researching. And I just kind of went with it. <laughs> I, I didn't think about it too hard. That's hilarious. Until all of a sudden, yeah. Gosh. Dude, it totally saved me too. New meta, 1312 fast OB speed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it sounds use okay. it to use it to get the queens exposed. Yeah, <laughs> always. I, I'm trying to Next think. Level. What else could you do with that? I don't. I don't I, know. <laughs> I don't know what you else you could do with it. So what if you um, did burrow instead? What would burrow look like if you burrowed with a 1312? I don't. I don't like it either way because it's it's so low econ. I feel like the units are much more valuable yeah. than any upgrade you could get. Yeah, I agree. I'm just I mean, to, like, what, what are some sh cheeky things we could do to uh, to 1312? I mean, bro, banelings in like the mineral lines or something would be really cool. But your opponent be... sees everything you do. That's true. So, like that's the only problem is that you have to keep that in mind. So I feel like burrow wouldn't be super helpful. And like getting uh, baneling mines off on lings sounds a lot harder to me than on marines, you know. Yeah. Well, I have lings thought about one quick. thing you could do with thirteen twelve. Hmm. You can always bring a drone um, and put hmm. down a spine. Spine. I've seen that a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cheeky. Yeah. It's like it's pretty good too. I think if you. Well, I don't know. I've wondered if it is very good. I think it is. Um, I feel like I it's gotten me a couple times, but I don't know. I'm kind of yeah about it. I feel like a straight up 1312 is more powerful. Okay. Uh, anyway, up here on the top left hand corner, in the blue trunks, we have BMNLs Bartagio. All right, in the bottom right hand corner, in the red, playing Zerg. Going for a second one of the day, it is. Gate. Right. Whoa, with Very a nice. proxy hatch going down in the middle of the base, just causing some distraction. Cancelled. Is he going to take the extractor? Might as well, might as well. Come on, come on. Said it not to for now. <laughs> Will he, though? There it yep, is. there it is. Although I don't think that's particularly hurtful to a Terran, unless he really wants to go for some sort of mech thing. Maybe if he went gas first. Yeah, uh, I but I don't think right. that actually. I don't does much. think it actually is that <laughs> hurtful to a Terran, but um, like I'll do it to a Protoss every once in a while, but yeah, he does let it finish. Okay, okay. I mean it does grant him some vision, so that's kind of nice in a way. Yeah, and you can kind of guarantee a a, a Marine, which mm. maybe if you have a specific it... build that's good against a Marine opening, that could be good. Yeah, but we do have a Reaper coming out instead. A oh, look how, man, it delayed Darth Gabby's expansion by like 40 seconds. Oh, that's by, or no, it's by like more than, by like almost a whole minute, man. Oh, but his, um, he went spawning pool first. So his spawning pool did. is like done. Okay, that's true. But yeah, so the Marine is coming out now. And so, okay, actually I can see this being good since it does force the Marine. That means it delays the reactor, which means if you make lings early, like four, there, maybe make like eight lings and send them across, you might be able to get some work done since it delays Hellions. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, don't you usually want to pump out a Marine anyway just to, for like, overlords and the way the money works out? Uh, or am I just wrong with that? Not always. 
Um, sometimes they'll go reactor. Uh, I do one, 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 just straight into reactor. Into reactor with no marines. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like I usually see like a marine. So what this reaper is doing? He's getting caught by a couple lings. Nice grenade that hit all of them. Oh dang. Yeah, this this micro is tough. Uh, yeah. To deal with as as the zerg. What up, I mean, White Shadows? How you doing, man? How was vacay? Is it all right? All right, yeah. This is the weird like two one one like. Oh, Bart it does, dude. Bart needs to learn a two one one. It it pains me watching the the way he opens his barracks factory barracks. Yeah, because like it is weird. Yeah, it's it's not very good. I don't think either. Because well, I mean, but it's not even like a one 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 anymore, right? Because he's getting tanks. That no, that kinda... it's like a one two one. But with, yeah. like, the 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 problem is that it's like um, you can hit with a two one one about a minute earlier with two full medevacs, and normally Bart hits like with one medevac with stim a minute after. It's just not very good. Um. Because he White invests Shadows into the and... tank in the weird build. Wait, White Shadows, where are you going? Are you like back to school? Is that what you're talking about? Back to back to uh, back to class. Early layer just finished from Gabby. He's also just dropped a Nidus. He's going to go for the Nidus thing. It looks like oh. more lings on the way. Well, this is Only a situation where. Um... Yeah, Bart's build might be good. Maybe. I mean, Bart only has one tank. He's got, what, five marines and a marauder? Is that it? And there's this nice dark corner that he will not see it coming from. He doesn't have another tank in production. He's supply capped. I True. think that and the he's lings, in a bit of trouble. The lings could overwhelm the tank when it tries to get up and in position. I think so. Um. Here it comes down. Does he see it? No, he doesn't. Barely not. Oh, Barely no. doesn't see it. Oh, no. Alright, is he gonna bring the queens? No, queens are staying at home. This is just links. Here it comes in. Going for the mineral line, maybe? No, okay. Production. Use those SCVs, that's what I like to see. Yep. Tanking those Zerglings. And there's still just not very much from Bartagio right here. The tank is not in the fight. It's still sieged up at the front. 11, 12. These worker kills are just stacking up. 16 workers down. Oof. Oof, indeed. The second like tank is just about to pop and probably really die. Not really scouting from uh, Bartagio, unfortunately. Good pickup on the tank. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, he didn't see the Midas come down at all. Dude, Gabe needs to jump on top of that tank down there. He can totally get the kill there. Mm. Man, this is trouble. Couple things streaming across up the front. I think they're gonna get dealt with pretty quickly. Yeah, I actually, uh, I'm actually prefer uh, Bart's position right now. You do? Yeah, he's got two muling bases. He's got. Three less workers, but that's totally fine with how many melee mm. bases he has. And Gabe is mm, making zero effort to transition. Yeah. You know, uh, Bart, ooh, he needs to repair them, but he can still have his production. There we go. He's going after the barracks. Uh -oh. He also needs to get the factory. Oh, but the Nidus is coming up, and he doesn't see it. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. Still has two tanks to defend. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, tanks and attacking SCVs don't synergize very well. <laughs> they don't at all. Um, okay, here come the lings into the natural. Getting oh, no. some nice friendly fire off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Only three workers, that's not too bad. Double Liberator about to pop from Bartagio. While he's bruised, actually, I think I agree with you, Blaze. If you can just hold on a little bit longer. Yeah, we are 16 but... to 23 workers now. Okay. He needs to repair his command center, and he needs to get rid of these Nidus swarms in his base. Dude. Dude, Gabe. I mean, Bart should just send those not those uh, liberators across the map right now. 
I agree. Get some economic damage. But spores are coming up yeah, though, and a spire. As well as a third. So, uh, Gabby has decided that he wants to transition to a more macro, a little bit more macro at least, with some mutas. Yep. Another knight is coming down. <clears throat> An attempt was made. I don't know what... Yeah. I don't know if he wants to keep on doing this, especially if he's going for mutas, right? He wants to bank up that gas. Yeah, that's just continuously hemorrhaging his gas. And he doesn't have that much gas even right now. Nope. Um, Bart really needs to... Well, I guess saturating the main would be more... I mean, saturating the natural is more important than lifting the CC and sending it up to the top. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. And, yeah... I guess that makes sense. I mean, technically, isn't it more efficient? Don't workers mine more efficiently as the fewer there are on a mineral patch? Like, between one or two workers on a mineral patch, there's still, like, a little bit of loss when you have two mineral, uh, two guys on it. Yeah. Did that make, it, did that make any sense no, the way I, I said exactly it? No, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, so technically, there is wouldn't it? a little it bit of mineral loss, yeah. A That's bit true. better to have that up on the in the main. Yeah. All right, we do have Mutas out on the map, as well as uh, Centrifugal Hooks is about to finish. Well, that's definitely going to be very good for a game. Ah, he keeps, oh man, he keeps wasting gas. Gabe does with like these different, like uh, canceling and remaking the uh, Overseer there and stuff, just. Hmm. What's the worker count at? 34 to... This is an interesting position. Looks like everything is pretty much stabilized. I'd like to see, like, some sort of, like, a drop or a double drop or some sort of something out of Bartagio to kind of see what's going on from Gabby, you know? Yeah, I agree. Um... Some sort of pressure. Okay, in the double Evo chamber, I was about to say, when are those Evo chambers going to go down? There they are. Um, what a weird Sim City, though, now. But I tell you what, there's yeah. there's no breaking <laughs> into that for a Zerg. Yeah. Definitely not. Like, the way, even, like, the tanks are, like, wedged in there, you're not, you're not breaking a, into that. Yeah. Causes a lot of problems for melee units. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Tanks count as structures when they're sieged. What? Well, you can't mineral walk through a sieged tank. So they must have like the structure condition. But they but you can pick up a sieged tank, right? You can't pick up any structure. You can't like with a up. with a phoenix. Oh yeah. Well I guess they oh, just have a, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I guess they just have like a special condition then. Oh no. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, no. oh! Excellent. Got only a bunch three. of uh, only three oh, SCVs. Only five. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, honestly. Nope. Was an attempt though. Very gas expensive attempt. It was very that that's so interesting though. So a siege up tank cannot be mineral walked through. So they must have like a special <clears throat> Yeah, a special condition, but it's I guess it's not like a building. Well, yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Maybe you have to be able to move to be able to be mineral walked through. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Kinda. Are there any other unit ground units that siege up like that? I don't think so. Um, Not that don't lurkers. burrow. Yeah, but they burrow. Okay, so this right here, this Ninus is so annoying. Bart really needs to get rid of that. That uh, Overlord. overseer. Overseer. Yeah, it's just like. A single get Viking. Get him out of there. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> and he's chilling on two bases still. He was trying to make a third. It ended up getting canceled. So now he's just adding on two more racks. And I think... I think Bart might be going all in. Yeah, he is going for the push right now, it looks like. They've been some tanks behind? Leaving all the tanks behind. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Uh, is Gabe going to set up a surround? A Nidus surround? That's what it looks like. Actually, that's that's super sick if that's what it is. That's OP, man. Uh, nothing's in it, though. Indeed. 
Here comes the push. He's clearing out some creep. Got a bunch of banelings morphing in. Now I'd uh -oh, love to Gaze see some of the lings like. Blocked. Uh oh. I'd love to see some of the lings like segmented off to the third, so we could get a little surround. But. Yeah, that would be really nice. All right, here oh. we go. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Dude, I think I was gonna say I think this is good for Gabe. But oh, but all the banelings go off the against. Banelings on the tanks. Yeah, that took a lot out of the... I mean, there's still a bunch of marines. Oh, there's only four marines left. Actually, I think he holds. Uh, you need to pick up and get out of there if these marines are... Yeah, but kill as many mutas as you can, right? I mean, mutas I guess that's worth... true. Every muta you kill is super valuable. He actually kills all of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh he gets it. Oh my gosh, gets all of them. <laughs> Fourth base is just about to finish for Gabby up here in the uh, three o'clock position, two o'clock. But still, yeah, no third. We're okay. Third is just now coming down again for Bar Bartagio. Dude, Bart's got four more barracks added on to his already one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six barracks on two bases, and adding four <laughs> more barracks on. Oh wait, no, he's adding three more barracks on. What a scrappy game indeed. Agree with you, Bartagio. Crazy game. Are we seeing? <laughs> are we gonna see a hive anytime soon? We need an infestation pit. The infestation pit opens up so many possibilities. Right. It opens up infestors, hive, swarm hosts, and then of course hive opens mm -hmm. up everything. Even like um, like two vipers just to get just to control these tanks. Yeah. If you would like, you know, I don't know if that's something you would be into. Yeah, dude, I'm just getting so sick of Spire. I feel like every game I go Spire, like the last two ZVTs that I had today, I tried to do my like all in, my Roach all in, and I failed. And then I tried to go Spire, and I just failed. And I'm like, dude, screw this, man. No more Spire, no more Roach all in. I just need to macro <laughs> and get my Infestors out because that seems to be where I'm winning all my games recently. So Hell yeah, man. Was just a no, little, Infestors little are so note. good, especially... Yeah. Especially if they, if you're encountering mostly bile, I think that's the way to go. Yeah, Infestors but I like even good. against even against like battle mech, infestors are great. And if you're playing yep. against traditional mech, infestors are still good. You just because like your opponent's really not gonna like push, and so infestors are. You'll have them, and then you'll realize that they're going traditional mech, and then you'll get out neural, and you'll be great. To, Especially when it gets out fours, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I, I feel like it's not as good against tanks, but definitely if they have a bunch of fours, I love neural. Yeah, it's not as good against tank, but tanks. But even like if you can neural the tanks, it's actually kind of sick. Um, yeah. But okay, it's just that a, sorry, little sorry. little squad of three marines. Yeah. Scouting out this fourth base. It's good scout. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those Marines got way more value than they ever should have. That was, that was <laughs> awesome. Um, Planetary at the third here from Bartaggio. Interesting. So he's going to be playing pretty defensive here. It's pretty that's... turtly, so that makes sense. Oh man. We're not doom dropping, are we? No. Okay. okay. It's just we two. have so many medevacs. Holy cow. Bart does. Yeah. Now, uh, no shortage on energy anytime soon. Yeah, that is for darn sure. Uh, speaking of infestors, got one on the way. It's a little bit ahead of pathogen glands, but that's okay. We got a, a hive just finished, as you were talking about. Let's see where he goes from here. Man, I, I really the like the. I, I love that. I agree, yeah. Especially because uh, Bart's just going lots of medvac marine, you know? Yeah. Fungal's great against that. Like, Ling Bane Corruptor Infester. And then you, of course, get into Ultra, it's just like, it's so ridiculous. It's so strong. Um, oh, this is just getting cleaned up. Yeah, completely. Completely. Everything about that shut down. Um, it's still four to three bases, though, so it's not like... It's not like Gabe is... I mean, he's, he's, he's ahead, but he's not crazy ahead, so that's... That's yeah, something at and least. we're they're both pretty equal at around 55 workers. Yeah. Um, looks like Bart's going to take his fourth. It's pretty awesome on location. It's bold. It is bold. Ooh, I don't uh, like I the this. drops, man. Oh, you don't like it? No, okay. I don't because there's so many because there are so many corruptors. Like, uh, 
when you're well, uh, I don't know. Like, what are you gonna do though? What are you supposed to do? Because you have, I, so, you have to do something. I like how it's double pronged. I feel like that's where you really open up the potential to get some work done, right? If it's a double drop in one location, I feel like that's all easy to clean up. But if you're constantly like splitting uh, his attention, I think that's where you can find a lot of value. Yeah, that, so that's, that's why I said point. that I liked it. That's a good point. And he's actually and gonna get a lot, a lot done here. Actually, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Right? Everything's moving up to the third while this drop is going in in the main. Oh my gosh. And the focus fire there was Excellent. amazing. He focus fired down nine drones, like an additional four Excellent. while he was getting attacked. And this is even more drones. This is, yeah, this yep. is sick. It's 14 really sick. drones go down. He's targeting down the spire. He's oh got gosh. the cancel on the greater spire. Is he going to get it? <gasps> I think he is. He gets it. There Value. It That's sick. Excellent job. Okay. Now well, it is going to get cleaned up, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, oof. But, um, but yeah, that was really sick. I, I stand corrected. That double drop was great. Um, the, yeah, yeah, the, the issue, I guess, you're right. It's where you're just dropping two medevacs in one place because he has more than enough to shut that down. Yeah. And that's, I feel like, one of the greatest strengths of Bio Terran, man, is that you can drop in multiple locations at once very easily. Yeah. I feel like the reason why I always struggle against Terrans, like Bio Terrans in particular, is just because I get picked apart. Like, there's a drop in my main and in my third, and now they're attacking my fourth all at once. Yeah, like, that's very true. I get overwhelmed. Yeah, and so playing to that strength true. is good. Oh my gosh, the fourth base is an orbital. Bart's a mad <laughs> Absolute mad lad. While, while the third is, uh, is a planetary. Yeah, some interesting stuff. A little bit flip flop, but it's okay. Okay, um, we gotta push out with some Thors. There are, are the upgrades? so many lings. I would love to see like 20 more Bane lings here. Uh, oh gosh. Uh oh, uh oh. Indecision. Indecision. Free 3 is just finished up for Bartagio. Oh, but he's just. Okay, he's falling back to the tanks. These lings are just clean. Dude, I love. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I love that we haven't seen a single spell <laughs> cast by the investors yet, but there we go. We got a couple of fungals off. Man, that engagement, uh, Gabe would have absolutely crushed it if he had knurled the two Thors. If he had knurled the two Thors, like, he wouldn't have lost all those Banelings on the Thors and Lings. And he had so. already cleaned up most of the bio, too. I agree with you if he had just knurled the Thors. So. Yeah. You know, it's... It's spellcasters are hard, man. They are so hard, dude. <laughs> I mean, literally, like I didn't start using infestors until last week, so no. Yeah. Well, not seriously use them. I would every once in a while if I felt like I was forced to. I would get in. The uh, the amount of infestors that I just sent straight to their deaths before I started to, you know, like use the shift command key to pull them back and stuff. Yeah. There, I've killed like hundreds of my own infestors that way. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's nasty. So the <laughs> shift key, so I actually don't even, I don't do that. That's so you don't, interesting. That's what I do. You have to be careful, though, because if you shift key, the only the one casting will, like, shift back, and uh, it takes that one to cast the spell before the other ones go back, too, and so you'll still end up sending them to their death sometimes. Yeah. But uh, you just want to, like, click not behind the army as you're casting your spells. Right, right, Stuff. right. It's Helium tricky. Helium Bunny right. says, Zergs who call Protoss the A-move race complaining about using spellcasters. <laughs> oh, man. There's so uh, much I could say in response to that, Helium Bunny. There's there's so much. But um, but I guess I won't. I guess I won't. <laughs> ah, spellcasters are tough. Yeah, High oh. Templar are easy, though. Um... I don't know. I struggle with them too. I guess they don't—they don't run right into the enemy. So <laughs> that's kind of nice. They don't run right into the enemy. They also—they get see the, the the okay. I guess I am going there. Looks I have no self control. All right. Um, so with Zerg, you have to like split everything right and create like your concave and your arc, and you have to take just the right engagement, or everything just dies. Right? If you don't take the right engagement, everything just dies. Like. Zerg is like a move in as much as you set up a really good engagement and your lings and banes are rolling in. But you also have to yeah. control click your bane lings so that they don't all detonate on, like, you know, Thors and stuff. 
but yeah. then your investors. Slip from Bart. Oh, she'll buy. Right away. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, these Thors are. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, the Thors are so good. Oh yeah. my gosh. Everything Dude. is dead except for like two Broodlords. Thors no, against Broodlords these days oh. is such a joke. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. No, but I, I agree with you, uh, Glaze, you know, to an extent, because with Zerg, you do really have to focus on, like, setting up concaves and setting up the good engages. Like, you're always trying to, at least the way I play, you're always trying to set up, like, a defensive engagement where they attack into you. Yeah, So, like, yeah. if you just go willy-nilly into there, you get wrecked. Yeah, and then, and then the, the, you know, the spellcasters are really squishy. They're amazing, and they're the best spellcasters in the game, by far, I would say. But they're real squishy, and they die real fast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're completely OP. That's that's definitely true, but, you know. Wow, what Man, a game this supply. one is. But yeah, the supply is nasty. <laughs> it is real nasty. I don't we think... We have a lot of... I don't think Gabe was expecting the, the Thor switch. I don't think you ever do expect the Thor switch when you think you're going up against uh, Bio. Mm. You know, he actually has everything. He has a bunch of gas, and he has... Uh... Oh, he doesn't have Neural. Okay. He needs to get Neural and Infestors, I think. That's how I would deal with this. Yeah. Yeah, no, you have oh. to have Infestors. You have to have tons of Infestors, really. I mean, either that or if you're going down, like, the, the Ravager... Um, swarm host route, but you need some special units to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, basically, I, I think you need, like, 15 Broodlords and, like, maybe 15 Infestors, and you can and you can win this. Yeah. Broodlords, really. I, and I feel like the Broodlords, I'd be scared to just because Thor is counted so well. well Ooh, he's the... trying to get the splits. Nice. Still gets cleaned up, though. Yeah. The reason I say so many, you need so many, though, is because of that. So basically, you yeah. neural the entire front line of Thors, and then your Broodlords rain down Hellfire on the on the ones... Actually, first, your Broodlords just launch when they see the front line, and then you neural them, and so the Broodlings go after the back line while the front line Thors are killing the back line Thors, and then mm. hopefully you walk away with, like, maybe 10 or, you know, 8 to 10... Uh, Broodlords left, and then you're like pretty good. Because the thing yeah, about I mean, killing a Thor army is that you kill a Thor army and like you you kind of win the game because it takes a long, long time to rebuild a Thor army. When they start coming out one by one, when the Terran tries to remake them, they just die so quickly. Yeah. No, but I can see it, man. Broodlings are also really good because like while they're while they're knurled and that's all going down so many broodlings are going to be shot down there, right? And yeah. that helps a lot. And the Terran has to focus fire the broods. I mean, like, it's something that you don't really think about because of how quickly Thors do kill broods. And I don't normally think about how difficult it is for the for the Thors, for the Terran player, but truly, you do have to focus fire the broodlords, right? Because yep. they're, they naturally shoot what's on the ground. Isn't that right? Um, Actually, no. I think they prioritize air right now. Oh, okay, okay. Um, no, however, no. I mean, you, it's that's always stupid. good to focus fire. No, nah, um, nah, that, I'm pretty that, sure that's they broken. prioritize. It's completely broken. <laughs> you think that's broken? <laughs> yeah. I think that they changed that actually a long time ago because what was happening was the Thor was having a lot of trouble against Muta Ling Bane because it was prioritizing the Ling Bane over the Mutas even though the Thor was there to shoot Mutas. Oh and gosh. so I think they changed it to prioritize air quite a while ago, I think. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Because of the Muta scenario, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, so this army, I mean, it's real good from uh, from Bart, Ooh, I think. We got but... a nuke. Oh, gosh. Now, I say it's good, but it. at the same time, like, he needs the Infestors and the nuke. Oh, goodness. Goodbye, drugs. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Nice. Uh-oh. I got lagged for a second. Sorry about that. All good. I agree. He needs more infestors. I'd love to see like eight to twelve infestors here. He needs it. Yeah, and there are only There's ten so broodlords too, which ten is not enough. Yeah. Um, poor Man, Dave. We though. have, have fifteen doors. 
16 Thors are out on the map. He's just going for this nuke style now. Wow, that is... The, that's the worst way to die, I tell you what. <laughs> Alone, surrounded by a bunch of Zerglings? Well, no, um, by death from a thousand nukes. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you were talking about the ghost. No, no. Yeah, that, that I poor mean, ghost. Yeah, <laughs> poor ghost too, but... But... It's, you know, death by a thousand cuts, but with nukes is just really painful. This is a scary army by Bartagio. So many Thors, and with ghost support, yeah. got six, seven ghosts in there. Oh, man. Two more Infestors on the way. He needs to just prank out Infestors. No more of this Ling BS, man. He's I got agree. way more gas than minerals. It's honestly perfect. No, he, he fumbles. It is ineffective. Oh no, wait, do we not even have Neural? Oh, no, do we, we not? Oh no. Oh dear. I wonder if he just realized that too. I mean, these broods have put in a little bit of work, but they're just getting massacred. I am broke, says dude. GG. GG. Good game. Wow. Wow. That was a good one. That was uh that was really well done. I'm impressed with Gabe. I don't I don't yeah. feel like I've seen him take a game to that point ever. No, I don't think I have either. Same with Bartagio. So like I don't know if I've ever seen Bartagio get up that many bases and amass that much. Oh, really? Thor and stuff. Oh, I feel like that's that's so Bart though. Like well, all, all of his games against that Janton many, uh... were always like just well, yeah. Okay, so Janton would normally like creep the entire the entire map, so it was always hard for him to get up yeah. the, the whole thing. But um, but yeah, that, that was a good game.